Hey everyone, it's Coach Jan here. And today I'm wearing the William C.C. Chen t-shirt, as you can see, uh, Living Treasure in China, one of my teachers, uh, and I coach for his team, the U.S. Tai Chi Bush has team. So, um, you know, always love thinking about the teachings of Grandmaster Chen, and I want to share some concepts from him today. In particular, I want to share the concept of, you might be able to see in the back of my shirt here, get down a little bit. You might be able to see this wonderful little drawing in the back of the shirt. And this little drawing is about the heart, about letting energy flow from the heart through the fingertips connected to the toes. So we're going to do some drills here. And as you can see, the inflation, the reverse breathing Tai Chi that we do uh, with Grandmaster Wayne Sushi Chen's Yang style that I show a lot of on this channel. I'm going to talk a little bit about how that works here. I've been doing Wu style all day teaching that here in Santa Monica, but now shifting over to some beautiful reverse breathing Tai Chi. So, letting the hands float down, just like this picture on the back, feel free to freeze frame or, or uh, screen capture, uh, take, a, take a nice little shot and zoom in, see it. But allowing your fingers, when you're playing with the opponent, doing push hands, or if you're just doing your form, playing with the concept of allowing the fingers to be pulled as you inhale toward the object that you're pressing. More specifically, there's many layers to this concept. Inhaling the color as if you have little nostrils on the tips of the fingers, breathing in through the arm and inflating the arm. Again, this is the body mechanic of reverse breathing Tai Chi. I would not suggest this for the style. You know, there are moments where it could work. But inhaling, floating in, notice that my triceps are inflating as well, meaning that the triceps are slightly, gently, slowly filling up with air, pressure. And slow has quotations around it, meaning that there are times where you do this explosively fast. Time is really about your perception of it here. So slow or the overt slow is gonna look like this, but you might do this and blast someone up. You may do it very, very quickly. You may drop your hips and push someone up, and that's a great way to throw somebody over their own hips, make them fall on the floor of the push. Super nice. So, but here, we're going to exhale, softly lay the hands, let them float down on your opponent's arms, and we're going to use the arm as if this hand floated on your opponent's arm. This is the opponent, this is me. Floated on the opponent's arm. Now look, let's look at this position. We're going to ride like a road up the shoulder. We're going to ride and let the fingers inhaling, pulling in through the tips of the fingertips as if they have nostrils on them, inhaling and the breath slides my, allows my hand to slide up and is being pulled past the shoulders. So my target is to inflate and take space past the shoulders. I am creating a solid shape. This is reverse breathing Tai Chi thinking. My solid shape takes the space of my opponent. That doesn't mean that I'm using uh, any particular uh, excess force, et cetera. I am slowly evolving to my willpower shape. And in a similar way, but all that energy going right into the middle Dan Chen, which is the heart. The lower Dan Chen, we often focus on in Tai Chi. But the middle Dan Chen, something that Grandmaster Chen focuses on a lot in the form, and cycling between the two, middle, uh, lower, and middle Dantian, shallow and full brain, the upper Dantian. But here, inhaling up, letting that heart expansion come out, feeling the structure from one finger, one hand to the other, almost like a shoehorn. That's a Wu style concept as well. You're doing gilded pillars, connect the dots here between styles. Gilded pillar and Wu style, should I say the eight pieces of brocade through the lens of Wu style, the gilded pillar posture, it's palms facing down, shoulder width apart and parallel, special tension on the middle finger of each hand. There is a attention drill where you shift the attention from the tip of the nose to the middle finger, to the other middle finger, to the heel, to the heel, and then you start to expand out both heels, both middle fingers, middle fingers and heels, etc. expanding your awareness to hold all this data at once. When you're focused on the middle fingers here, you're going to have awareness of the shape between one finger to the other. It should feel like a solid shape, like a shoe. 
like a horseshoe, excuse me, like a horseshoe. So here, the horseshoe shape happens again, except our means of getting there shifts. We inhale, inflate. So the double press is your form. Other styles will do the same double press. Yes. Who style will do it? White crane spreads his talent size style. Double press, double palm press. But here we're doing it with the fingers. We're inflating, taking space. And it looks so soft and so gentle. And it does not look like it is martially threatening. And it totally is. That's what's so cool about it. <laughs> One of the things that's so cool about it. So exhale, softening down. Inhaling and playing out, and just play with that concept. And you can allow yourself to come forward, roll back, drop down, inhale, and roll back. If you've seen me do the rolling push hands here, rolling, drop down here, I'll show the front here, rolling. So that means that my hips are dropping beneath my forearms, forearms make connection to my opponent's arms. I draw my hips beneath, I roll my hands down, my hands then float on top, rolling from the forearm on top. That's what I mean. Here, this is the opponent's arm, this is my arm, forearm connection on top. Now my hand is on top of my opponent's arm, and then I ride the road all the way, driving all the way to the shoulders. So here, you roll, inhale up. But that's a really wonderful way. Of course, this is not the reverse breathing body mechanic. So we're going to bring it back to William Chen's. This is more Luhabatha style, where the hips will take some space, and then the upper body will follow along. So you'll have lower and upper space um, being eaten. Eat space, claim space. Here, for Grandmaster Chen, you can just keep the spine straight, so no undulating spine, uh, cascading spine. Rolling back. When I roll back, you don't see my feet, but both my feet stay on the ground. So I will not pick up, I will not, if these are the toes, lift and keep the heel down and lift the toes up like I would do in Wu style. Or sometimes you do in certain postures in the reverse for the young. But for this, no. Both feet stay flat. I went to my back leg and then I reclaim the front leg, dropping my hands down, inhaling. Exhale, drop the hands down, inhale, exhale. Notice that the spine pelvis rotates from the femur, so my back is straight. It's just 45 degrees on an angle straight. Now it's completely straight going up to the sky, 45 degrees on an angle. I load 45 degrees on an angle and feel the heel, the ball of the foot, the big toe. When I feel the big toe of my front leg, I inhale. That activates like a button, the expansion, the inflation, and then I exhale, releasing, shifting back on the back leg falling asleep onto the front leg, and inhale, waking up. Inhalation should feel like you're coming awake. Exhale and go to sleep. Here we go from the front. Then come forward. Fold foot, big toe, inhale, waking up. Exhale, going to sleep. Fold foot, big toe, inhale, waking up. Exhale, go to sleep. Exhale, inhale, waking up. So as you exhale, go to sleep, it's not as simple as the one, two. It's the one, let's say go to sleep. Exhale even deeper. Inhale, waking up. Exhale, go to sleep. Grandmaster Chen might call this free breathing. There are moments where in his form, there is no intentional structured breath work. Meaning that in Wu style, it's very, very structured the way I was taught, where the breath is with and it is still slow and steady, but the concept is so intensely specific. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So really, really particular snaking breath work at every given moment. Free breathing is a little bit different. You might inhale, play the shape, exhale, rolling to sleep, and you may breathe in a little bit, you might, you might not, but then you really empty out all the way. And then inhale again and play all these different concepts. Free breathing is great. You can do some free breathing here, which means just empty out as you go down, down, down. Inhale. Exhale. Put forward.
So remember, three fingers, the three nails, heel bowl for the big toe. Check the, my video on the three nails uh, there. Middle finger, index finger, thumb, corresponding three nails to three fingers. Again, this is William C.C. Chen style. Other styles may focus like your style intensely on the middle finger. Some would say the entire hand. It's important to know the difference between the yin fingers and the yang fingers. And that William C.C. Chen is constantly evolving his style, constantly. Last time I trained with him, he was only talking about the index finger. There have been times where he's only talked about index finger and thumb. The one that I found the most resonant, given my time on the U.S. Tai Chi Push Hands team as a competitor and as a coach, has been these three fingers. And knowing how these other two fingers come into play to activate certain types of moves, such as the arm drag and being able to become very useful. So I have tons of videos on all that stuff on this channel. You can always watch for free and always feel, feel free to ask questions, share thoughts, share ideas. This is all about evolving Tai Chi together. Uh, please check out my Patreon if you want to become a uh, patron. And there's a bunch of wonderful perks on there as well. And feel free to um, uh, you know, subscribe and ring that bell so that you're always aware of new videos. I love you guys. I'm Coach Jan, and I will see you soon.